Choosing the right font for your web design project is very, very tricky, yet so important. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you three resources that are gonna make your life way easier. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. Welcome back to Flux, where we're talking everything from web design, design in general, to freelancing. And today I wanna to talk about type. Type is so important because at the end of the day, our work as designers is to combine images, including and type, put them together to create some sort of design. So choosing the right font gives so much impact into the both, you know, gut, uh, look and feel of the website and also the usability of it. Now, I've shared a video before and you can probably watch it here where I'm talking about the different choices between free font and premium font. But the problem is that when you go into these places where you can pick the fonts, you get no context. So check this out. This is how Google fonts would look like. You just go through the fonts and look at them and Adobe fonts, you know, just the same. You're gonna browse through tons of different fonts and you've got no context. So it's really hard for you as a designer to try to visualize. You might have some image or some vision about, again, the, the look and feel of the website, but it's very hard from these kind of browsing in lack of context to understand. So I have three resources that I use to kind of inspire myself on top of the, the visual inspiration or web design inspiration that I do before I go over, um, start designing to get some references for types that I like. So let's start with the first one. The first one is called Fonts in the Wild. And basically it's a collection of lots of websites, right? And you can see here from the screenshot, the type of vibe or fonts that they're using. Now I'm gonna click this one and I'm going to be able to see what fonts they're using here. So in this place, they're using Canela and it's a paid font. You can click to, you know, purchase the font or go to the foundry that created it. You can also click here to open up the website and see how this font actually looks like inside a web design. And this is really, really important if you want to, you know, see how this looks, how this looks on mobile. So we will give you a lot of context to see this, not in just kind of a blank space, but actually inside a website. Now, while some of the fonts here are paid, as I've seen, you can also sort them by free font or Google fonts or Adobe fonts which might be free if you have the Adobe Creative uh, Cloud. And then you can see, okay, if I have Adobe as a free font, those are some references that I can use and I can open it up and see how they're used inside a web design. And I think this is very, very important to give you inspiration into how you might use them because it's not just picking the right font. It's, hey, look, we can use them in uppercase. We can condense them like this. We can make them tight to get this kind of feeling or we can space them out to get a completely different feeling. And so this is really, really important. The second thing that will make your life way easier is if you're gonna like this video because then you're gonna tell the YouTube algorithm that you find this helpful and then you'll get more videos like this. So do this now and let's move into the second website which is Fonts in Use. This is pretty similar but this is broad broader than just web design. You can see here, you can um, choose different, you know, you can look at book covers, you can look at, you know, album art, and you can also look at websites or you can go through topics. So if you're designing something for food and beverage, you can get inspiration into what kind of um, fonts they're usually using when promoting these things. Now you're gonna click them and you're gonna get access to see what kind of fonts they're using. Um, in this case, important, uh, no, sorry, not, not important. Let's see what fonts they're using Windsor here. And you can of course click this and see a lot more examples of, you know, seeing Windsor in use. And so even different, you know, the same font can be used to get different vibes. Um, and here you can see the combination. So this is something very important as well. What fonts are gonna be working with this? So here's a combination of Windsor and New Gothic or here Windsor, Windsor and Helvetica. And you can click to see how that combination ended up working in this poster. So this is also very, very helpful. Now the third thing is called Type Wolf, and that's basically what's trending in type. Now this is less kind of uh, practical such as this one. This is just showing you kind of beautiful things. And you can see here, I've actually showed this website in the, you know, in the best website of the months of last month. But you can see great examples here of things that are 
kind of trending right now and you can see the fonts that they're being in use and I think this is you know just as you want to know what's trending and what's working right now and what's popular in other senses of web design in general you want to have you want to develop that sensibility in type like what's working right now what is new what is at the cutting edge and this website is a good kind of inspirational website to keep track of what's going on right now these kind of um, very wide fonts are also um, trending right now so you know this is a great kind of inspirational website they also have this side of the day and font recommendation list so this is a great resource for you to just keep on track maybe once a week or once a month visit this keep um, keep up to date on what's going on and again you'll have to see this a lot to develop your own sensibilities to know what you like and what you want for a particular project let me know if this video was helpful for you if you have your own resources for picking fonts please leave them down in the comments below and we will see you on the next video bye bye